Good evening and welcome to For The Record. We have a very special show lined up tonight and I think you can guess by my attire what we are talking about. Of course, it is the victorious Fiji 7s team which has secured our first ever gold medal in the Olympics. They have been victorious in Rio, Brazil and tonight we dedicate this show to our 7s gladiators as they, as they are now being coined and joining me tonight in studio for For The Record is none other than the Minister for Sports himself, Mr. Laisinia Tuitumbo, to talk about what this, mean, uh, what this win means for Fiji and how we can use it as a bouncing board to take the sporting fraternity forward. Minister, thank you very much for being on the show tonight. First of all, as the Minister responsible, a hearty congratulations to yourself uh, and to the Fiji 7s team on the victory. Thank you. Thank you, Edwin. To, to begin with, <coughs> Fiji as being recognized around the world is so tiny, so small in comparison to most of the teams that we've taken on and beaten in the Olympics. How does that reflect on the work and the, the effort put in by the team and the coaching panel? <coughs> yeah, as we see the victorious podium when they issued the, the medal yesterday, uh, Fiji amongst uh, Great Britain and South Africa. Uh, when you go through the uh, the, the daily uh, Rio update, some of uh, the people in Brazil, or so some of uh, the people, uh, some of the athletes, they don't know where Fiji is. Uh, even I, I, I read that uh, Fiji, uh, they say that Fiji is in Australia. But uh, after the win, they found out that Fiji is uh, an island of its own, it's in the South Pacific. And uh, we are very proud, uh, as the Prime Minister alluded uh, yesterday, that uh, we are proud Fijian now. Uh, the seven team has uh, make us tall among other rugby nations, uh, especially the tier one rugby nations. We're able to beat them and uh, we beat them in sevens. And I think uh, that is the most important thing that we, uh, a, a nation of our own, uh, even in the United Nations respected that. And what the boys did uh, in uh, Rio de Janeiro was just uh, a stamp or just to glue up uh, that uh, Fiji is a nation of its own. What, what sort of emotions are you going through, first of all, as a rugby fan, a Fijian, and the Minister for Sports in Fiji? Yes, uh, Edwin, uh, yesterday uh, I had about five interviews on the road, and uh, not, not uh, including those, uh, the, the, the people who know me, and uh, they come and shake, shake, uh, shake my hand. Uh, for me personally, uh, I take my hat off to the family, to the family of the boys, uh, to, the, to the boys who are fathers and mothers, also the wives and the kids who sacrifice uh, for, 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 for them living home that uh, H HSBC uh, series and uh, so I take my hat off to the family as I've always alluded uh, this is not only the, uh, the boys victory it is the family's victory and uh, the nation as a whole we always think of them and uh, also the boys that uh, they played their heart out they played their heart out on uh, during the Rio, Rio de Janeiro I, I made in uh, commitment I always meet them when they arrive or, and uh, when they go. Whether we know lose, I, I meet them. That's during HBC series. And uh, I, I think uh, the, the most, uh, 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 the one that we should think here is Ben Ryan. Uh, he made a lot of sacrifice also with the, with the team and uh, he built uh, the team's character individually, personally, personal character. And uh, that's how he built up this uh, winning combination. Ben Ryan, of course, as you mentioned, has been an integral part of uh, the win, an integral part of, of where Fiji 7 stands today. And we will definitely talk more about him and his contribution uh, later on in the show. 
but uh, looking at how Fiji has reacted, looking at how, how people spilled into the streets and there was jubilation and, and celebration and there was a unity for, for that moment in time all Fijians were united and this is something that the government and the Prime Minister has been talking about from day one, the, the uniting factor of sports in Fiji. Now, uh, using that, using that unity and that, that inspiration, how do we build the sporting fraternity? How do we build future rugby stars and, and, and athletes and swimmers and whatnot using our first goal from Rio? Uh, uh, how does that reflect on, on your ministry? It really, it really means a lot to the ministry. Not only, not only rugby, it's also the other NSO, uh, NSOs, uh, the National Sporting Organization. But uh, right now, uh, rugby has put us uh, on, the, on the world map, uh, especially sevens rugby. And uh, <clears throat> I just uh, go back into history that uh, 18 months ago, we, we invited Ben Ryan to be our guest speaker at the Sports Award. And uh, he came up with, uh, with, uh, with, with, with some of uh, his strategy. This, this was 18 months ago. He said that uh, a player must, have, uh, uh, must change his attitude. If a Fijian player wants to join his team, he must change his attitude. Uh, you know our, our Fijian player, uh, shortcut attitude, uh, no, uh, the give up attitude. So he, he sh ensured that uh, the Fij a Fijian player that is part of his team should change, change his uh, uh, attitude. And it also, he said that uh, he must have a purpose. You can change uh, your career, you can change uh, things that you do, but have one purpose in life. He said that the uh, person that he pick must know his purpose. And this was 18 months ago, the purpose or the, what we are craving for is the gold medal in Rio. This was 18 months back. In March 19, uh, 2015, that we invited him as a uh, chief guest speaker, and also he said, "You must plan uh, plan a work and work your plan. Uh, what type of rugby player that uh, we want to to use so that we can uh, meet our purpose, and also to have that uh, to to ensure to get the purpose must change the attitude. All that uh, um, be that." Uh, ben Ren brought in into the team that make us uh, make uh, the, the boys a, a different player altogether and they stand tall yesterday that is uh, what that he brought in about uh, uh, what he brought in to the boys uh, that we have we have already we have the uh, and the uh, athleticism also the talents the flair so he uh, he came in with those uh, uh, scientific characters or the characters that uh, to build onto the boys that make them stand tall on, uh, on the sevens uh, arena. Very well put, Minister. With that, we've come to the end of our first segment. Stay with us. We'll be back shortly. Pulumnaka, welcome back. Our show tonight is dedicated to the victorious Fiji sevens team which has won gold at the Olympic Games in Rio, Brazil. And my guest is the Minister for Sports, Mr. Lysenia Tutumbo. Minister, we've been talking about how Ben Ryan has, has built this incredible team. Foremost, former, foremost in the minds of many rugby fans tonight would be having Ben Ryan stay. He's already indicated that he was here to win gold in the Olympics. He's done it, and it may be time to move on. But let's, let's ask the question that's in the mind of all the all the Fijian rugby fans, all the Sevens diehard fans, are we trying to, or can we try to convince Ben Ryan to stay with us for a few years more? <clears throat> yes, the, we understand the amount of offer that came to, to Ben Ryan. And uh, to keep uh, Ben Ryan in Fiji, definitely we don't have that, uh, the money. Uh, we don't have that uh, resource uh, compared to the bigger countries that uh, trying uh, vying to, to get uh, Ben. But uh, one thing that uh, he saw uh, in, the, in the Fijian player is the heart. Uh, he has uh, heart, but we don't have the money. But with his uh, expertise, he made that world champion. 
compared. I mean, it's a combination of his expertise and the heart of our players. As I've said uh, earlier, that uh, those who want to join his squad uh, is a uh, is, uh, uh, member uh, to become a 12-member team. He must have a purpose, must change attitude, and uh, the flair. That is what uh, he said. The flair that the Fijian uh, player has cannot be compared to any other player. And they cannot adopt how New Zealand play. They cannot adopt how South, Af uh, South African uh, team play. They cannot adopt how Australian they have to play their own game. So we witness that. Uh, when they play their hearts out, and uh, we saw that we witnessed in the, in the final, it really baffles uh, the Great Britain. And you know, Great Britain is a three-nation team, Wales, Scotland, and England. And uh, to beat them in, in that such a margin, it just shows that uh, we have that uh, natural talent and natural flair, and also the heart. Uh, one of his uh, uh, saying always goes like this, that uh, Fiji is a small land with level heart. He always say that. Yes, uh, I said, the opportunity to coach the Fijian boys, uh, uh, as I've alluded before, is an advantage to its coaching, uh, coaching skills. Uh, I'm sure that uh, he will miss that. He cannot find that, in, uh, find that in any other country in the world if he is going away to go and coach, but only in Fiji. And uh, with, uh, we see him when... when when the feeling and the, the family feeling he has with the boys now, and uh, uh, we just wish, uh, I, can, I can only wish. But now, uh, as the Prime Minister, the President of uh, Fijian Rugby Union, uh, with him in, in Rio after that win, they must uh, have uh, something uh, work out, uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. And I think the entire, entire country is hoping and praying as well yes. that, that Ben mm -hmm. stays. Uh, the influence that, that Ben Ryan has had on the team, uh, not just the 12-member squad, uh, but every Fijian fan, uh, he became uh, uh, a star in mm -hmm. Fiji. He was given recognition and, and he's found more love than he would have coaching any other team. Uh, do, do you believe that... Uh, he will carry that with him wherever he goes. And, and do you think uh, the inspiration that he found in Fiji will, will be used in molding other teams? Uh, and could there ever be another team that plays like Fiji? Um, to be honest, Edwin, I think uh, I heard it from him. And uh, we have uh, talked a few times. He said that uh, he has the, the passion of his seven coach in the world. To coach a to coach a Fijian team, and uh, for him he has coached uh, an English team with one Fijian player, and this, he has the, he, his vision was so uh, his dream that one day he will coach a 12 member Fijian all Fijian. Team. So he has it now. He experienced it and uh, he has gone through it, and uh, to the whole nation is a. Is a talk of the house. You can uh, even uh, he was uh, named after a child who was born during a win after an HBC uh, series. I mean, I mean after they captured the first HBC series, and also uh, the, com uh, the the popular singer who made up a song about. Uh, Ben Ryan. Of course, yes. Uh, <laughs> everybody's familiar with that song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he's probably going to be uh, the most popular coach, and, and his name will come up again and again uh, if uh, he doesn't stay. And Fiji has a new coach. The team has a new coach. They will all be compared to Ben Ryan, won't they? Yes. He set the standard. Yes, uh, the standard uh, Ben Ryan has uh, put on uh, our... Our national uh, uh, sevens team, and uh, not only in the national sevens team to the to the world, uh, it, it can it's second to none. Uh, cannot be compared to any other coach. I think uh, if he decided to to leave, but his name will be remembered by all Fijians. Uh, what we have experienced yesterday, and uh, it 
that's all the nation, uh, the all nation, all nation uh, really feel that. I was at uh, ANZ Stadium. It was just like uh, a, a real match was uh, taking part in the, in, in, in the, in the stadium. Uh, when uh, the CEO of Fiji Sports Council opened uh, the big uh, screen for everybody to come along to see it. So it, it shows the, the inspiration that we, the nation has about uh, Benre. Will we ever have a team like the one we have today? Will we ever be able to match their talent and skills? Um, personally, I cannot, uh, uh, I cannot uh, say uh, or I cannot uh, promise that we can have the same team, uh, how the tactics and all those now in the future. But we have the, those talents. Uh, experiencing from uh, uh, what uh, the arm of uh, uh, the, the operation arm of our ministry is so one of that is sports. The Fiji uh, Sports Commission are doing its own program, and we are doing our own program, outreach program. We see there's a lot of talents in Fiji, not only in rugby but uh, in all sports. But to say to get the same team now. If Ben stays, yes. If Ben stays, yes. Because he knows how to get the best out of a Fijian player. But uh, I, cannot, uh, uh, I cannot promise that we can have the same, same team to, to, to play the same, uh, uh, display the same tactics that we, ha that we witnessed yesterday in the future, uh, if we have a different coach. We'll take another short break. We'll come back with uh, more discussions with the minister. Good evening and welcome back to this For the Record special on the Fiji Sevens team winning gold in the Rio Olympics. We are speaking with the Minister for Sports, Mr. Laisenia Tuitumbo. Minister, we, we, we're talking about how this win, our first gold, our historic moment uh, uh, in the sporting fraternity uh, has, has impacted every Fijian. Going forward, excuse me, going forward, uh, how can we use this win and, and this, this historic moment to inspire future sports stars, uh, are there any plans that, that you may be considering or, or, or how do we ensure that the memory that we have right now, this feeling of, of euphoria and, and, and unity is, is carried forward? Uh, firstly, I would like to, to speak on uh, uh, what I've uh, just seen on the media monitor, that uh, the economy. Uh, in that uh, few seconds, uh, the, these 13 boys, uh, I mean, in the, in, the, in the span of 72 hours, uh, they put Fiji, the unknown relatively, as I uh, said before. Some of uh, them, they've been asking, that, is Fiji in Australia? But uh, in that uh, few minutes, uh, few, uh, Fiji was put on the world map and uh, it's, it will affect our uh, the marketing and uh, the market in the world, eh? and also we have uh, we have started our program uh, that is the rules uh, sporting field uh, trainer the tra uh, training of the trainers and also when we improve or when we re uh, do improvement on uh, sporting fields in in the field in the in the rural areas in the maritime. Or for youth clubs and uh, for other sporting clubs, we we ensure that uh, we build that uh, as a international in as a international standard. We we, we put it in our standard uh, standard operational procedure that we must uh, we make that uh, size of uh, the field that we make to ensure that it meets the the, uh, the international standard and. Uh, yeah, Yes, yes uh, from here, uh, rugby has already uh, been uh, introduced to that, uh, to that level, the Malokachi level. And uh, we would like to introduce other sports. But to take this, uh, this uh, opportunity to catapult what we witnessed yesterday, the win that the boys uh, done for us, 
uh, it will inspire the, the, the sportswomen and sportsmen, uh, sports boys and sports girls, uh, that one day they can do that too. Uh, not only in seven, but in other sports. We witness uh, uh, Winston Hill in boxing. Uh, we f I, I found out that uh, he, uh, the, his op uh, uh, opponent has 100 fights. He has only about 30 to 40 fights. So if we have that uh, sort of opponent and uh, experience uh, uh, directed to, to our sports uh, women and sports uh, boys earlier, they can be uh, world beaters too. But uh, for now, we have introduced that uh, in the rural and the maritime and also in schools on, uh, on sporting uh, uh, development. Do you think it's time that world rugby recognize the potential that team like Fiji and countries like Fiji, uh, the small uh, island uh, states have, and, and you know, channel more funding towards developing uh, these sort of smaller teams which punch above their weight, which beat pe countries uh, which have hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not a million dollars in funding and, and all these technical expertise, yet we have players who, who hone their talent uh, in, in the village, playing with uh, PET, plastic bottles, uh, as you would have. Uh, do, do, do we need world rugby to, to sort of step up and, and give us our dues? I think it's uh, about time. Uh, I, I was uh, watching uh, the television. I, I really was uh, very, very happy about uh, the, the president of the world rugby. We were issuing uh, a medal. After the medals, they were issuing a small token so to, from the world rugby. That, uh, <coughs> Yes, it's about time uh, World Rugby look into that. We can do it. Uh, the small nation can do it. Uh, but with, in, with uh, enough resources from uh, international uh, uh, bodies, we can do that. Uh, I think a few years back, uh, we formed uh, a, a team, uh, the Pacific uh, Nation team, uh, that's uh, including uh, Fiji, Samoa, and, and Tonga. And, uh, <coughs> but Due to lack of fun, uh, there was uh, the team didn't uh, sustain itself. So it's about time World Rugby look into what we have achieved uh, yesterday uh, for them to assist us. And uh, I'm uh, impressed about uh, Fiji Sports Council, Fiji Sports Commission. Uh, I would like to thank them uh, that uh, they are moving forward, trying to to promote uh, the, our facilities that we have. Uh, just recently, we, we host uh, a super rugby. And uh, re, um, uh, hopefully that we will be hosting another one in 2017, another one in 2018, 2019, after the success of uh, the one that we held this year. Uh, uh, this year, too, we we able to get five Oceania Championship. Uh, the first one was volleyball. When uh, the volleyball committee approached me, that New Zealand, uh, because uh, of, uh, of, the, of the location, the, the locali locality of uh, New Zealand, uh, majority of our Oceania um, teams, or Oceania countries, they cannot afford to go to New Zealand. So they, they recommend Fiji. Uh, so the, the first one uh, was volleyball, Oceania volleyball. But, uh, when it happened here, we won it. We beat the, the champion, uh, Nikhil Rodinia, both the boys and women. And I uh, would like to congratulate them too for that. And yes, uh, we need some more resources. We need some more money. And uh, just towards the end of the segment, uh, there are celebration plans. The Prime Minister's Office and the Fiji Rugby Union are trying to come up with a plan. But uh, from your ministry uh, to, uh, to the rugby fans, what can we expect? when the team gets home? Yes, um, we have uh, just got uh, the, the, the news yesterday that uh, the Prime Minister and uh, the Assistant Prime Minister declare 22nd of uh, August next Monday as a public holiday. Uh, but there is a plan for a put forward and uh, to await the Fiji team that, uh, that arrives. They arrives in, on the 21st, uh, just one day before the holiday. But yes, the government has, uh, has already promised and it's already, uh, what is already stated that uh, it will 
uh, see what they they really uh, need to have uh, those those boys or I mean those athletes that bring gold uh, gold home, and uh, they will deserve uh, that from government, so that uh, it compensate uh, what uh, they have done, uh, what they put uh, the nation across uh, the world map, and uh, for sure the government will do that for them. Minister, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for being on the show. Stay with us. When we come back, we will have highlights of the last two days of our coverage of the team in Rio. We'll be right back. Good evening. Welcome back to the show. Two days ago, as we came to realize that we had won our first ever gold medal in Rio Olympics, there was jubilation all over the country. There were ad hoc celebrations on the streets. People were even dancing, waving flags. And there were people in cars driving around the cities and towns celebrating and cheering. This is just an explanation of how fans were showing their exuberation and, and celebrating and being one with the team and, and coming to the realization that history has been made and we have all been a part of history. And FBC TV has attempted to bring you as much as we could and been there with you all throughout the uh, Olympics and especially over the last two days in the course of the next two segments we'll try and bring you some of the highlights of our coverage from Rio and from Fiji as we celebrated stay with us as we bring that to you now <laughs> It was a moment to celebrate for all the Fiji 7s players and no one more than skipper Osea Kolinisau. Some you haven't seen Kolinisau so happy before, but today there was a reason for every simple smile. Uh, first of all, we just thankful to the Lord. We said uh, that uh, without God we couldn't uh, achieve that. And that uh, we said Luke 137 that with God nothing is impossible and we are just uh, happy that uh, we got the win and uh, just thankful you know and uh, all the glory needs to go back to Jesus Christ. Kol Nisau has been the backbone of the Fiji 7 so far though he hasn't decided on his future yet he says the journey wasn't easy. To just getting the phones back, having a McDonald's no more waking up early and uh, we've achieved uh, something and I guess the boys are looking for some long time back in uh, the village. And you cannot forget the National Sevens team coach Ben Ryan for whom this win was a special one in his coaching career. Uh, we always, you know, myself and Nather, Rapati and William, uh, Eddie, the doctor, you know, we've all, um, we've all done our bit. The boys have really put the hard shift in. Um, you know, they should be proud. Every Fijian should be proud of what they've done today. Ryan, who has given the Sevens rugby a new life, also revealed today's journey has been a tough one and the players deserve the win. I don't know, I just, I'm so, I'm so thrilled for them and for the country. It's been an amazing journey the last two years. You always set out goals, you always hope you can achieve them. Sometimes you fall a bit short and we've been really lucky in the last two years. We've hit everything that we aimed for. Um, it's a golden period and um, I'm truly thankful to Fiji for giving me this opportunity to coach such a great team. This is how close I have come to the gold medal which Fiji 7s uh, have won. I believe all the celebration uh, will be starting back in Fiji and uh, don't worry, we'll be coming with the medal soon. In Brazil, Vashnil Prasad, FBC Sports. He was the most silent one in the bus ride back to the games village as he had his family in mind. The tears of his family members is still not forgotten. Uh, emotional coming, coming here to Rio, uh, but it comes with sacrifice. So for now, I just can't wait to go back home. Tuai has dedicated the win to the sacrifices of his family and everyone related to the team. First of all, I'd like to thank the Lord for the strength that's uh, enabled us to win the gold medal uh, today. Uh, all the sacrifices and uh, all those waking up in the morning are speed off now. Uh, uh, yeah, I would like to thank uh, everyone back in Fiji for the support, for the prayers. 
Kitsione Talinga is another player who has made an incredible comeback to the sport at national level. Pilame Mata also had an outstanding performance in Brazil. Well, uh, first of all, I just want to thank the Lord for everything that he's done to, first of all, for myself and uh, for the team as a whole. For, for the past three days have been tough for us, but uh, we managed to come through with a goal, so we just want to thank the Lord for that. It may be just a gold medal on the telly, but for all Fijians, Today is the day that will remain close to their hearts forever. In Brazil, Rohit Teo, FPC Sports. They came, they played, they conquered. The win is special for every player in this team. For Jusua Tuisova, who joined the team just in the last leg of the World Series, this win will be cherished for the rest of his life. Uh, first of all, first of all, I just want to thank Talot for giving us the uh, strength and the uh, win uh, this afternoon. Uh, the win this afternoon, I just want to dedicate to the people back at home, uh, family. I just want to thank them for their support and uh, their prayers. Thank you. Masibesi Dakuanga was called up into the team on the last day. He says this is all God's grace. Uh, you feel when you came in the party? Uh, it was a uh, good uh, thing. Uh, yeah, man! Uh, <laughs> 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 to thank the for uh, give us a victory and uh, to thank all the uh, supporters back from PG coach Chris Cracknell has been with the men's team through the journey as well. I'm so happy and uh, so proud of the boys and uh, the way they played in the final was just unbelievable. So, uh, yeah. I sat up and then at the end and both of us just said, what do we do now? But neither had anything to say, we were just elated by the whole thing. So, I don't know, I don't know. The boys are absolutely outstanding. The celebrations will be hitting rooftops in the days to come, but this victory will be cherished by all Fijians for years to come. In Brazil, Rohit Deo, FPC Sports. Good evening, welcome back to the show. Tonight we bring you a special on the Fiji Sevens team winning gold at the Rio Olympics, our first ever. And here are some more highlights of FPC TV's coverage of the Rio Olympics and of the Fiji Sevens team over the last two days. There'll be a holiday, yeah. But we've, we've had three holidays last, in the last three days. <laughs> Nobody's been at work, I understand. There's a, there's a team that's going to sit down in the next couple of days. And, and plan on uh, on uh, festivities and celebrations of sorts uh, when the when the boys come, come home. Benny Marama, who was in full support of the team from the first day, says it's celebration time and thanked all the players part of the campaign. A wonderful feeling. It's uh, like I said, it's uh, it's a wonderful feeling to be a Fijian right now, wherever you are in the world, especially those back home. But uh, we've we've backed this team because we want them to win for themselves. They, they deserve the win, they've been working hard at it. So coach and, uh, and the management and the players deserve uh, the best we can give them. With Fiji now ruling the Sevens Rugby, the Prime Minister has called on the International Olympic Committee to involve Sevens Rugby as a full-time sport. I just want to say that uh, uh, we wanted to thank the Olympic uh, Committee for including Sevens Rugby uh, into the Olympics because uh, you can showcase little countries like us. We don't have the, the financial backing that the other countries have, but we managed to bet, beat them. The streets were emptied out and businesses came to a standstill. It's the calm before the storm, so to speak. There's tensity here, there's excitement in the air. Fiji taking to the field for the gold medal playoffs. Minutes into the game and it was evident a sweeping victory was on the cards. And with the momentum of tries, there was a chorus of support, which erupted with the final whistle and goal for Fiji. Fans swept away in Fijian pride. 
I'm so overwhelmed and so proud of Fiji team. It's amazing, all the people that was climbing over everything to watch the game. Thank, Thank you, boys, and go Fiji, go! It's very good, uh, it's very good. It's good. I think every Fijian is so happy and you're all proud for the Fiji team out there. Wonderful for them to, to be able to get gold. This is awesome, awesome. I think Fiji deserve a, a public holiday. I feel proud. Thank you, Fiji. Hey, thank you, Fiji. Fiji. Number one. Number one. And there you have it. Celebrations have begun. This historic moment in Fiji. Yeah, and that goes to all of Fiji celebrating today. Fiji, go medalists at the Rio Olympics. And Maggie Moore at the Fiji. And that is the end of our show for tonight. But to leave you with some parting comments from the Prime Minister, continue celebrations. The celebrations should continue throughout the week as we await the arrival of the team back home a week from now. And remember, you are a part of history. You will go down in the books as someone who was around when Fiji won its first gold medal ever in the Olympics. And we may win more gold medals in the future because of the inspiration provided by this team. But this win will always go down in memory and in history as the time when Fiji stood out above the rest of the world. With that thought, I leave you tonight. Good evening. Up next is Nimani Indalai Mbatiki with the My Say segment. If you have comments or questions, you can email us for the record at fpc.com.fj. From me, good night.